Hi, this is Manos Berlakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, and it's a great pleasure to have once again Dr. Lorenzo Azzalini, who is from San Rafael Hospital, and he's going to present to us case 54 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. Thank you very much, Lorenzo, for doing this case. Thank you so much, Manos. So I'm going to present you a case of a subintimal crash on, uh, of an occluded stent. We will briefly review the possible approaches to instant CTO PCI, and then we will see how subintimal standing around an occluded stand is actually feasible, safe, and effective. So this is a 46-year-old male with a history of dyslipidemia, smoking, and CAD. He had undergone a PCI with dragolutin stand on the RCA in 2010. Recently, the patient presented again with a new onset angina due to um, uh, a lesion on the uh, LAD that was stented with a dragolutin stand, but then uh, the patient was also found to have uh, instant chronic total occlusion in the RCA. Um, this uh, was attempted at another institution uh, but was failed. So the patient comes to us with evidence of viability of the inferior wall and he is admitted for RCA CDO PCI. This is the baseline angiogram showing a very long occlusion, more than 20 millimeters, with an ambiguous proximal and also distal cap and tortuous interventional epicardial collaterals from the circumflex and also a diseased uh, distal ending zone. So we tried first a true to true approach uh, anti-gradely, but the wires consistently track outside the stand, even when we try to do a knuckle. And when we finally managed to go through the uh, instant in what we believe was a true to true fashion, we found out that the wire was subintimal. The cross bus was not available that day in the cath lab. So accordingly, we switched to our retrograde approach through a very tortuous epicardial collateral from the circumflex, as you can see here. This is a coarser microcatheter and a Sheehan wire navigating the very tortuous anatomy. At a certain point, the wire jumps in the distal uh, true lumen. The very uh, Sheehan wire immediately and very quickly crossed in uh, uh, what we believe uh, was a true-to-true -true, uh, lumen fashion into the proximal uh, vessel and also into the proximal uh, the anterograde guiding catheter, as you can see here. But then, when we externalized the wire, we found out in a different projection that the wire actually tracked completely outside the occluded stent. What could we do at this point? We evaluated that the probability and the likelihood of being able to cross the stent in a true to true lumen fashion, either retrogradely or antigradely, were extremely low. So we decided to carry on with a subintimal crash of the occluded stand. This is the uh, pre-dilatation with a 3 non-compliant balloon that crashed the stand, and this is the immediate result after stand crashing. Then we carried, out, uh, carried on with standard PCI technique. We implanted four drag stand stand. The distal RCA, this is the stand that will crash the occluded stand. Then we perform TM protrusion standing across the crux, and finally we implanted another stand in a um, proximal to mid RCA. And this is the final result, which is excellent. Since we were concerned about the durability of this procedure, we had the patient come back a couple of months later. He was asymptomatic, and you can see here that the result is uh, preserved after two months. And in this uh, uh, colo shot, you can see the old uh, the occluded stand parallel to the newly implanted stand in the distal RCA. The patient underwent extensive multimodality imaging with multi-detector computer tomography. Uh, in these two images here, uh, you can see how well was excluded. Uh, the, the occluded stand was excluded from the coronary circulation. And the, in this cure uh, multiplanar reconstruction, you can see the occluded stand indicated by the narrow head and the newly uh, and patent stand indicated by the conventional arrow. And this is the side by side comparison between OCT and IVUS showing the optimal result at two months with a subintimal stenting, the crash stand, and the stent in the distal true lumen. So, my take home messages are that in case of instant CTO, PCI, you always need to try to cross in a true-to-true -true fashion, obviously. However, if this fails, some intimal crash of the occluded stand is a, definitely an option and can be safely and effectively performed with good outcomes, at least on the short term. And it's very important to consider invasive imaging to assess adequate expansion of the newly implanted stand and also to ensure that exclusion of the uh, occluded and crashed stand from the coronary circulation. 
Thank you very much, Lorenzo. Again, that's a phenomenal case. There is increasing of those cases uh, are being performed right now. But the message is very clear, as you said. If you go subminimal, you don't need to abandon the procedure. If you get into lumen, you can crash the stand. Um, how how high are you go? How big are you going the balloon? Are you trying to minimize the balloon size to uh, minimize the perforation risk? This is a very important point. Actually, there's been a, a little controversy on this topic among operators, uh, among also other operators that already published a few cases like this. Um, some of them advocate that since you're in subadventitial space and there is already a stent into the true lumen, you shouldn't go to high pressure in order not to increase the risk for perforation. In this case, we uh, actually went uh, also with uh, NC balloon at 20 atmospheres to do post dilatation because the patient already had uh, the rationale behind uh, he, behind this uh, this uh, this uh, attitude was uh, that um, the patient had already suffered one episode of instant uh, occlusive restenosis, so we did want to maximize the uh, possibility that this uh, did not happen again in the future, and so we decided to perform aggressive post dilatation to ensure uh, this good outcome and uh, no complication happened uh, at that moment. Wonderful. Thank you again for a wonderful case.